all right so welcome back to daylight coding in today's video we're gonna do the dynamic animation so as you can see so this is what the demo look like so i have the box right here so i have the input range so whenever i change here the box is gonna do the uh, scale down or scale up so then we have the this night animation right here right so to do that we're gonna use the style components that allow us to do the css and js so then we can do the dynamics uh keyframe so that, let's let's do it all right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any tech that you want. And this is just a boilerplate from Create React app. So at the moment, it's just display hello world. And also in the app.css right here, I put everything into the center. So as you can see, I'm just simple CSS. And also you have to install style component into your project as well. So then we're going to do be able to do the Dynamics uh, animations. So the first thing first that we're going to do, so we're going to three step. First, we make the UI components. And also then we're going to do how we can run the animations uh, with style components. And also then we're going to do the dynamic animations. So with the UI component, it's really simple. So we're going to have two uh, components. First, we're going to have the box uh, right here, just doing styles and then dot div. And then, uh, so in this case, I'm going to give the width of this one, um, let's say 300 pixels. And then the height of this one is going to go with... Uh, 100 pixels. So let's give a background background color. Background is gonna go with uh, yellow. Okay, so then instead of render the hello world right here, we can do the box. Box right here. Okay, so now we have this one. All right, the color is not good, so I'm gonna do with the this color right here. Okay. So the next thing is we're gonna have the inputs. So that this one we can do the uh, uh, range. So the type of this one is going to be uh, range. And then the min, this one start from, uh, in this case, I'm going to start from zero and then to the 150. So this will be divided by uh, 100. So because we want to do the scale. So as you know, the scale value is going to be um, zero. I think like it's small. So this one is really big. So the scale value. So we need to divide that by 100. Uh, and all right, so you will see that in a moment. But then I'm going to give the margin of this one. Uh, margins, uh, let's see, margin bottoms to, let's say, 50 pixels. I'm not cared about the, like, what it looks. What I uh, wanted to show you today is, like, what, how we can do the dynamic animations. Now, after we make the components uh, ready, so we need to do the uh, animation so how to do the animation with the style component so you need to create the animation function so i'm going to do is call the animations right so in here i'm going to do animation scales and then it's going to be this and now we're going to have we're going to use the keyframe so this keyframe is just like in css but we do it here in the uh, js so this one at zero percent so uh, we're going to do transforms, transform scales uh, from ones. So, and then we're going to copy this one. So then we're going to go to see, this one 100%. Uh, we're going to do, let's say, 1.2 for now. Okay, so now we have this animation scales. And so in order to use this one, so we need to pass as this one to here. So then we're going to do the animations. Uh, this one, we're going to pass the prop to the box. So animations, animation is going to be equal to, so this is going to be a function. So we're going to do like this. And then, so then we can access it right here. So this is the animations on the box. So with this one, it's just like the um, CSS. So then we get the animation name. So which is uh, the prop that we pass. So the props right here. It's going to be a function, so let's prop dot animations, and also we want to give duration one second, and then the is in out type of this one transition, and then we're going to do forward. So after we scale, we want this one to stay at that. But you can see right now, we can have this animation. Like right, so, now this is what we can do, uh, the static animation. So what we wanted to do now is to when we whenever I change here, it should affect the animation on this box. All right, so to do that, so we need to change the static uh, scale value right here to the dynamics one. So then, we, so to do that, we need to pass the parameter to this function. So what I can do is this one is from value and then the two value. So then I can change this one. 
So let's say the from value, and this one is gonna use the to value. Uh, okay, the to value right here. Okay, so then we need to pass to this one. It's gonna be from value. So um, we need to create the state for that one. So I'm gonna create the state to value, and then I'm gonna do set to value is gonna be equal to use state uh, one, and also the from value is gonna be one as well. So from value is gonna be one, and then we need to pass to this one from value and to value. So now if nothing changed, if I were to add this one, let's say 1.2, so you can see that we have this animation change. So then next we need to listen to the value from the input right here, and then we change the, we do the animation here, uh, update the animations. So to do that is really simple. We're gonna do on, on change, and then we're gonna get this even right here, and then we can do set to value with the e.target.value. And then the value right here is going to be from 0 to 150. So it's going to be really huge. And then so we need to divide that by 100. So then it's going to be from 0 to 1.5 only here. So if I change here, so you can see it's doing the animation. But the from state is all the way from 1. So because we haven't have updated this one yet. So then we need to update this one. Uh, so we need to, after you uh change to to value and then we need to after the animation end we need to update the from value as well the from out value to the current to value so to do that uh we need one we need to listen on animation end so then we're gonna do set from value uh, with the two value that we have in here right now so now if i change here so you can see it listens from this current state and then it's going to this we go all right so that's it all right so i hope you learned something from this video all right see you guys in the next video peace